izdržava i što je jedini redovni prihod za život monaha. This was translated from Georgian into English by a friend of ours, Elizabeth uh, Ninoshvili and her husband, uh, David Ninoshvili, from Georgian into English, and they asked us to print it. They asked us to print it four years ago. It took us four years to edit the book, to include uh, supplementary material, to do research, to design the cover, to acquire the illustrations. The whole book is illustrated. It's the first time that we've done a full-color book mm-hmm. and um, this, uh, of this quality. And it's 500 pages, so it took us a long time to prepare. And then this December, just before the new year, we, we printed another book. This is a United States printing of a book that was previously printed in English in Great Britain, we shall see him as he is. It's the writings, autobiographical writings of Archimandrite Sophroni Sakharov, the disciple of St. Silouan of Mount Athos. And then every year as well, we print the annual St. Herman calendar. This is a new calendar for 2007. This is the Julian calendar as used by the Serbian Orthodox Church. And each year we have a feature article this year, the feature article is about the saints of southern Italy. Mm-hmm. Many years ago, I had received a book about the saints, the Byzantine saints of southern Italy. Uh, it was published in Thessaloniki in English. It was the doctoral dissertation of a professor. And then we had some friends last year who made a pilgrimage to southern Italy, to the old Orthodox shrines, the holy places of southern Italy, which are not very well known outside of Greece. And so we decided to present them and we also entered into the calendar some new saints from Italy and Sicily who are actually already commemorated by the Greek Orthodox Church but are not very well known. So those are the three publications that we did this year. What what, what are the circulation of these uh, books? uh... (laughs) We usually print for the initial print run about 3,000 copies. For our St. Herman calendar, we print about 4,000 copies annually. Sometimes if we know a book is going to sell really well, we'll print more, five, four or 5,000. But in, in the United States, up until now, our, that's been about the limit of our ability to distribute a book. And as you know, we don't have a lot of facilities for just holding or yeah. Warehousing are, books. are people uh, helping you? I mean, uh, sending you some uh, help in, in, in money and in anything, uh, as they do for ministries? Yes. Well, primarily, primarily our income comes from the sale of our books. But we do also have some friends that help us out, usually around Nativity, Božić, or around Pascha. Mm-hmm. We'll get some more additional funding that comes... Uh, Irregularly, uh-huh. happens, yeah. and there's there's no consistency except around Božić. We usually receive a little bit more, but we try to depend on what we can uh, produce with our own publications, so that we are not uh, uh, basically, as the fathers would say, eating from other man's labors. That <laughs> someone else works, and we eat from what they produce. So we try to uh, uh, use the money that comes in to print more books, to put it back into our publications. So because part of that, again, is that's connected to our missionary work. The ideal of St. Herman of Alaska, who came to the United States to proclaim the Orthodox faith.